What is your major concern as an ambassador and how do you intend to fight them? Mm. As you know, all ambassadors are sent to promote their country's interests in their countries of posting. So in Italy, uh, I have two assignments. One is to develop bilateral relations between Zimbabwe and Italy in their multifaceted spheres, trade, investment, cultural cooperation, tourism exchanges. That is one part of my assignment. The other assignment obviously is to work within the UN uh, agencies that are based here in Rome, FAO, IFAD and WFP. Those three organizations are undertaking very critical work in the area of poverty reduction, uh, agricultural growth, and issues of nutrition, which we are going to be discussing here today. So that is very, very important to, to Zimbabwe and very important to me. What is the state of the country's economy? The economy has suffered uh, significantly over the last 14 years. As I explained before, we have had sanctions imposed against us by the Americans, by the European Union, by the Australians, by Canada. And these sanctions have caused a lot of harm to our economy. Over that period, it has cost us about 42 billion US dollars in lost business, decreased production, and lost opportunities. And the economy as a result has suffered. The impact has been felt in this, principally in the social sector, where you will find that our education system suffered, our health sector suffered, even also in manufacturing. As we speak right now, our companies are operating at below 30% of their installed capacity, mainly because of those sanctions. So we are very happy that the European Union has lifted the sanctions that it had imposed. But we still have sanctions imposed by the United States, which have not yet been removed. These were imposed in 2001. What those sanctions have done is to uh, cripple Zimbabwe's ability to borrow from the multilateral financial institutions. We can't borrow money from the IMF, we can't borrow money from the World Bank, we can't borrow money from the African Development Bank, because the American ambassadors in those institutions have the stating instructions from their government to block any rescheduling of Zimbabwe state, any cancellation of Zimbabwe state, or any extension of new loans to Zimbabwe. So everything we do, we have to pay cash upfront.